afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Oakland A's and the Minnesota Twins. Coming to the plate now, Ramon Laureano. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Set to get his day started, Stephen Piscotti. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Striding in for Oakland. Marcus Semyon. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Now the 2 1 pitch. Taken. Strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Sent on the ground out to second. And the off-balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. Now in the box, Luis Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1-1. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. To the plate now, Byron Buxton. Three balls and two strikes to the twin center fielder. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Loriano will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He's two for seven in the series so far. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. So the big band of Miguel Sano digs in next. He was hitless in yesterday's shutout loss, as were many of his teammates. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Once again, a 3-2. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. The 2-2. is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Chris Davis next to bat. He's picked That's up four good. base hits in the series on six hit. tries, so he seems Great. to be really locked in now. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. The 3-1 on the ground to the right side. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. In now, Chad Pinder. Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate. One and two now. Softly hit out to short. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. 
So digging in now, Sheldon Noisy. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And it misses three and one now. Shoots this one over to first. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Austin. Stepping in now, Austin Allen. And he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go. Up next for Minnesota, Mitch Garver, the American League's silver slugger behind the plate a year ago. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance. And hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And he misses ball four. The next twin up, Eddie Rosario. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Eddie Rosario. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. Loriano is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Here's the third baseman Josh Donaldson. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. He's set. Here comes the one one. Swings through it for strike number two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. 2-2 he is offered at and missed he chased it for strike three and that'll bring in Ramon Laureano as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one the three one count of three and two Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hit on the ground out to short. Gonzalez is there. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now at the plate, Stephen Piscotti. He flew out in his last at bat. Piscotti. A 1 1. Line towards center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. Next up for the A's, Marcus Semyon. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the payoff pitch home. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The first baseman. So here's the yeah. Oakland cleanup batter, oh, Matt Olson. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. So striding forward now, Marwin Gonzalez, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1. One, one.
Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Hit on the ground for Simeon at short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Settling in now, Luis Arias. Second baseman, Luis Arias. High in the air into shallow left center. Simeon takes charge out there, and he stays with it for the second out. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Grounded to third. Chapman's got it. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Here's Chris Davis now. It's been a good series for him so far at the plate with five runs batted in on four hits. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chris Davis. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. The 2 2 one more time. It's laid off and the count runs full. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Throw on to first is in time to get him, so that will go down as a strikeout and a 2 to 3 put out for out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that means Matt Chapman will dig into the plate. Called strike that time, and it's even at two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. The two two one more time. Gets him looking up around the letters. And that brings up Chad Pinder. Hit it hard, but lined out in his Chad. first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. One ball and two strikes to count. Still one and two. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Here's Nelson Cruz now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 1 1. Left side of the infield into the shift. And a good throw gets him one gone. Now it'll be the Minnesota D.H. Miguel Sano. He got called out on strikes his last time through. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. The Decker, number eight. Mitch at the plate, Mitch Garver hit in the air down the right field line. Heading after it is Piscotti, and now it'll rattle up against the wall. As he arrives at second without a play, as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Into the box now, Max Kepler drilled right back up the middle. Oh, and he overshoots his first baseman as it's over his head. So coming to the plate, Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky, but it can help you stay out of the double play if it's well executed. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Olsen is there. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Josh Donaldson. And their runners at the corners now. 
the set and the 2 2 and he lays off a pitch off the plate and high three and two Marwin Gonzalez would be next had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one he set the three two and it's fouled away he set the payoff pitch on the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Sheldon Noisy, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Now batting. Austin Allen. Standing in now, Austin Allen. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Noisy ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And he's safe at the plate. We're all square at one apiece. The battle, number 22. To the plate now, Ramon Laureano. On a rope to the second baseman. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. Homer Bailey, a six foot four inch right hander, oh, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. The right Steven Piscotti will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Now the one and one pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Cruz will drift over to his left a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now batting, Marcus Semyon, runner in scoring position with two gone. The set and the 1 1. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready for another chance? Marwin Gonzalez. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called. One away. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. Stepping in, Luis Arias. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Two and one now to the Twins leadoff man. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get him out on the play. In now, Byron Buxton. Down the left field line and deep. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Hits are now even at four apiece. And that misses two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Full count now, three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And there's ball four as this one gets away a bit. The battle. Stepping the in and ready for another shot. Yeah. Nelson Cruz. He was a ground down victim last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Loriano is there, two gone. Now 
the number four Minnesota hitter, Miguel Sano. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Loriano retreats to the track, and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Two and one to the A's first baseman. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Ball even at two and two. Now the pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So one gone for the A's in their half of the sixth. And that'll bring up the big time power bat of right handed hitter Chris Davis into the corner and slicing foul. The one two. One run four hits and one error on the Oakland line score. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. And now to the plate Matt Chapman. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. A ball and two strikes. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Hit back up the middle. Gonzalez to his left. He's there. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. of the sixth inning now trying to pick things up where we left off Mitch Garver a hit in two tries for him so far this is line to left that gets down he's got himself a base hit and this will kick off the base of the wall and he's going to get to second now with nobody out the batter the first base player. Stepping in now, Max Kepler. Full count to Max Kepler, three balls and two strikes. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Simeon's there, and there's one down now. Mike Fires is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth oh, appearance of the building. season here. The left fielder. Eddie Rosario will be his first assignment out of the bullpen as he'll stand in with a runner in scoring position at second and one away. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Josh Donaldson digging in now. His previous history with Mike Fires. He's three for nine. He's taken him deep once. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. He set the 2-2. Two -two. And he sends it the other way toward right center. The Scotty's there for it. He hauls it in, and the potential go-ahead run will not come around to score. Striding into the box, Chad Pinder, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's one and two now. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2 2. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Buxton is right there, one down.
Stepping into the box, Second Sheldon base. Noisy. Couple Sheldon. of singles to his credit Noisy. thus far. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. All even now, two and two. Here's the pitch. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seven. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. I got to count two and two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He'll be the man to lead things off here in the bottom of the seventh. 1-1. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And your go-ahead run is in at second base here with a leadoff double. The batter, number two, second baseman, Luis Arias. At the plate, Luis Arias. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. From the belt, kicks and deals. Byron Buxton is on deck. Ready with the payoff pitch. He loses him on ball four. Here's Byron Buxton now. It was a walk in his last trip. The one two. Gonzalez on second arrives on at first with nobody out. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Right now at the plate, yeah. Nelson Cruz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With nope. this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. In there, two and two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. One there. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Well, late now is the designated hitter. Miguel Sano is working on a one for three thus far. Here's the 2-1. Breaking ball that time but misses out of the zone. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Coming in to score is the runner from third, and they've taken the lead here in the seventh. The catcher, number eight, Mitch Garver. Into the box now, Mitch Garver. Hit sharply on the ground. Scooped up, throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. Trevor May will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ramon Laureano. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. 
This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. I think it's about time to choke him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the oh, next to hit. He could really use a knock field. here. 0 for 3 mm -hmm. in the game so far. Now the 2-1 pick is laid off of for ball number 3. Three balls and two strikes for Steven Piscotti. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Throw on to first, two gone. Standing in, Marcus Semyon, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Fouled straight back. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. J.B. Wendelkin goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 57, J.B. So stepping in, Max Kepler 0 for 2 for him to this point. One one home takes a pass and misses that strike two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Stepping up now, Eddie Rosario. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here it comes on one and one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Ready now, Josh Donaldson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. In there, one and two now. Wendelkin is exactly what you want out of a bullpen arm. It's a rare occasion that anyone squares him up. He doesn't give up a lot of hits, and when he does, they're almost always kept in the yard. Matty V, there are two keys to being a good relief pitcher, and always remember these. One, limit the base on balls. Two, keep the ball in the ballpark. You can't defend a walk, and you can't defend a round tripper, and he does both. A shot down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. Another full count pitch home. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Two out with the man at first. And that'll even the count here. It's now two and two to the Minnesota shortstop. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Taylor Rogers comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Matt Olson. He went down on strikes last time up.
And the count will be full. The 3 2 pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Striding forward now is the DH. Chris Davis. Been a strikeout victim twice in this one. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Rogers, originally from the Centennial State of Colorado, he was selected in the 11th round during the first year player draft of 2012. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. And now this crowd of around 24,000 supporters come to their feet. Lays off two and two now. Last strike now for Oakland. This is skied into short left center. And that is going to wrap things up as the catch is made and the Twins will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Minnesota Twins jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Homer Bailey earns his third win of the year in relief. Taylor Rogers wraps it up for the save, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious win. Two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Athletics, one run, four hits, one error. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game: two hours and thirty-nine minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please drive home safely.